Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning to you again this morning. I want to say that the Lord will bless us. Can we pray together? Our Father in heaven, we bless you again because this is another wonderful day that you have made. We are praying that for this day, Lord Father, you bless us more than ever before. You give us the surprising messages of yours that we want to listen to. It will yield the fruits of how to live our lives for you. Father, we thank you that you speak to us so that we hear you more clearly, more nearly. Father, we bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The topic of today is character of the new man. Character. When we talk of character, it's very important. And we are going to limit ourselves to the passage of this morning, Colossians chapter 3, verses 10 to 17. I will quickly read. If you have your Bible there, can you read along with me? Colossians 3, 10 to 17. And I have put on the new man who is renewed in the knowledge according to the image of him who created him. Verse 11, where there are neither Greek nor Jews circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Cetagian, slave nor free, but Christ is all in all in all. Verse 13, therefore, as a light of God, holy and beloved, put on the tender message kindness, humility, meekness, long suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one have a complaint against another, even as Christ forgives you, so you also must do. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of God rule your heart, to whom also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of God dwell in you richly and in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. And let's read verse 17 where we are going to stop this morning. And, uh, and whatever you do in words and in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Again this morning we want to thank God because of this wonderful topic. It is very wonderful because it's a follower. It's a, it's a follower of what we have said. Following exactly what we have said yesterday. Yesterday what Paul was advising on things you should put off as a new man. Today he is listening. He's now bringing out. He's now atomizing things you must put on. Call them character or Christian attitude without which you will remain spiritually naked. And what we are trying to say today is that if yesterday you were advised to put off some things, it was never the mind of God that you should walk naked. Therefore, there must be some things you put on so that you cover your nakedness. If you put off something and nothing is replacing it, that is nakedness. And that is not the mind of God. Spiritually, we ought not to be naked. There are things that we should put on as atomized by Paul in Colossians chapter 3. There are other passages in the Bible where this, as, with this idea is also given. But I want to look at these six things that we are to put on. Number one, God renew life. That's in verse 10. That we should put on God renewed life. That your life with God should be renewed. In Romans chapter 12, he said, And therefore I beseech you, brethren, that you should put on this mind of God. And when you put it on, you see what the Lord is saying. A renewed life, a renewed mind. Life that is chasing you away from the one that you don't like before. I want to read to us this Romans chapter 12, which is always an explanatory passage to where we have just read. But Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, brethren, therefore by the mercy of the Lord, that you should present your body a living sacrifice, only accepted to God, Lord, which is your reasonable sacrifice. Starts two, and do, do not be conformed to this word, but by transformation, by the renewing 
of your mind that you may prove what was that that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God is. He said that you may renew your mind. In, in another passage, he was trying to say that you, that you can transform. Transformation is also change. God renewed life is a life that is of change. We must be able to do that. Very, very important if you want to live like a new man. Number two, tender messes. Messes that are ordinary, that you behave like a babe. You behave like a young person. You don't behave, you don't have this arrogative life in you. Egoistic life will be far away from you. That you live a life that has mercy. You give people, you, li you relate with people around you with a message that is tendentious, that is able to have that kind of things that pleases others around you. Then number three, love. We can explain in First Corinthians chapter 13, he was talking about what love we do, what love we not do. Now, when he was saying it in, in that place in verse 15, he was saying that we should put on love, which is the whole and the whole agenda that is above every other one. So if you lose yourself, as an husband, you have to love your wife. As a wife, you are to be submissive to your husband. As children, you should obey your parents. All this and within the content of love. Love is a situation that God will expect you to be able to give that opportunity and that ability of obeying. And let's look at that verse 15. And let the peace of God rule your heart to which also he has given you. And that is verse 14, 15. So the peace of God which comes out of love is also important to you. That God wants that to be in you. And another one is number four. A heart to rule by the peace of God. Verse 15. Your, there must be peace of God in your heart. The, your heart should not be chaotic. It must not be full of evil. Your thinking about others should be of peace. Think of peace for others. Think of peace for yourself. Think of peace. It is only when you are not in God you think of problems here and there. You are fighting on a daily basis. But when you are in Christ, your heart should be full. She will rule by the peace of God. And number five, a life rich in the word of God, that you should deeply read the word of God on a daily basis. That is verse 16. It's already in your Bible. You also can read verse 16. You see that uh, it said, and let the word of God dwell in you richly in all wisdom. It's not just the richly, in all wisdom. That the word of God will be there. And people see you, most of the time when you talk, you talk the word of God. Let the word of God dwell in you. You know it. When Jesus was tempted in in Matthew chapter 4, he was a reply with the word of God. Though a quotation of the Old Testament, because he was part of the word of God, he was a reply. What do you use to reply people? When people, when you are down, what do you say? What how do you talk? When you are when you don't know what to say, what do you say? The best you can say is to is to, is to speak from the word of God and it will help. A, that number a life, that number six now doing God's directed activities, that you will not live alone. You will be directed by God on a daily basis, anywhere you go to. You see the Lord directing you. Uh, quickly, I want to read that. And whatever you do, in words and in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give us thanks to God the Father through him. So this morning, what we are encouraged to do, number one, God to renew life, number two, tender mercies, number three, love, number four, a heart to rule by the peace of God, number five, a life rich in the word of God, number six, doing God's directed that is very, very important. As we are setting out this morning to go out, what is your plan? What is your agenda? Do you have a hiding agenda from the mind of God? Release everything to him this morning. To, to, to know them, you must search the scriptures with the help of the Holy Spirit, the author and the teacher and the giver of knowledge and the spiritual understanding of all the truths. You must also search with diligence. You don't just do it. In Jeremiah 29, 13, it says we should search the word of God with all diligence. You must be willing to do as directed by the Holy Spirit. You must be willing to obey and must know that it is not even in your power to do God's bidding by the four gods himself, God in you, both to will and to do his good player. It is the Lord himself can give you the grace in Philippians chapter 2 verse 3. It is not, you cannot do it alone, you cannot do it by your power, but with God. Therefore, do to all this you must hold 
put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the loss again. So God will surely bless you as you do so. I want you people to really believe that with God, you can do all things. Can you bow down your heads and begin to repent and begin to say, Father, direct my way. I am willing. I am willing. I examine the, as I'm examining the character of a new man listed above, pray that the Lord himself will help you. He will give you the grace, the mercy to be able to do it, the remedy and the area. And presently, the Lord will take away all deficiency from your life. And the Lord is able to do it. As you are praying, the Lord is doing something in your life. And the Lord is taking over your life. As you are going out, the Lord will direct you. He will see you through. And the Lord will bless you. And by the time you are coming back today, you will give testimony. Father, I thank you because I know your word will never go void. It will not go empty. Father, I pray as many people that have listened to us, you will direct their path. They will do your will. And this character of the new man will be their portion. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen and amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.